Come on, just everyone. Maybe you're wondering, why am I on the floor? Well, you have to check out my first channel, World Videography Channel. Now I have to get up from this floor. Help! Ugh. There we go. Occurring over or involving a relatively long period of time. English is so damn hard. This is a long-term review of these range polarized sunglasses from Toro. I purchased these back in 2020 in July. We are traveling somewhere. So hopefully it's gonna be a fun day today. Good restaurant. So you would see in this video the wear and tear of the Toro sunglasses. And this video is not sponsored by Toro. With the Toro sunglasses, it does come with a box. This is not the best looking box, but you'll get a better box than this. I've been traveling. And inside the box, you would get a microfiber cloth and a protective bag to protect the sunglasses. That's what you get inside the box. Toro is a legitimate company in California. I believe that Toro is the only company that provides the darkest sunglasses in the market. You can go on Google right now and search for darkest sunglasses, but most of the sunglasses in the market is only category three. And that is not dark enough for especially with achromatopsia people. So I am glad and I hope that Toro continues making sunglasses and continuing their store. That would be so awesome. Also, they have lifetime warranty, which is really awesome. The material of these sunglasses is polycarbonate and the color that I got is a matte. And this is the original Toro sunglasses. This is the time when Toro had only one sunglasses. After 2020, when there was only one option on the Toro website, that you can only purchase these range sunglasses. That's the only one that they had in the store of Toro. Right now, they have three other sunglasses that you can buy. They have the range XL, Valley, and the fourth is Field. And the Valley is their newest one. I actually want to review the Field one. These sunglasses are more like an aviator sunglasses. These sunglasses are 100% UV protected, scratch resistant, shadow resistant. I'm not gonna test on these sunglasses because these are the only sunglasses that I have. And without sunglasses, I'm basically blind outside. TR90 flexible frame. These are feather lightweight. You can barely feel the weight. Putting a cap on, it is quite comfortable with these Toro sunglasses. Now switching to a warm hat. With a warm hat, it is not comfortable with these sunglasses because these sunglasses don't wrap around and they're wide and they're not comfortable. Switching to my other pair of sunglasses, these sunglasses, these are very beat up and they are only in category three sunglasses. And they're more wrapped around and they're more comfortable, which Toro does has sunglasses that have a more wrap around the face, which is called the field, which I'll be reviewing in the future. There is a lot of bad reviews of course, with all sunglasses, there is no perfect sunglasses. Despite all the bad reviews to the chromatopsia people who are very sensitive to light, I wanna look at those bad reviews. I'll just grab one. I saw a lot of videos when people fold their sunglasses and the hinges, they would make noises, but as you can hear, there's absolutely no noise. And I've been wearing these every day since 2020 of July. And so far, I have no complaints of whatsoever about these polarized sunglasses. The light transmission on these sunglasses is three to 5%. With the category four of these sunglasses, it is very easy to see, especially right now it's cloudy, it's not sunny. So it's really easy to see with the category four. With other sunglasses, they're usually category three. But beware that with these sunglasses, that if you're in the shade, you can barely see anything. 
especially that I am sensitive to light. Even in the shade, I can barely see things. Other than that, these sunglasses are awesome. With most sunglasses, the most popular brands that I know of is Maui Gyms and Oakley. Of course, there's Ray-Bans also. But in those three brands and other brands, most of the sunglasses that they provide is C3, C standing for category. And with the category three, the light transmission is only 11 to 17%. And that is not dark enough, especially if you're sensitive to light. So with the C4 and the light transmission of three to 5%, these are the darkest, not just the one dark sunglasses, these are the only darkest sunglasses that you can buy. And that actually has a legit brand that you can purchase. Not the most posh material, but very good quality material that Toro provides with their sunglasses. It doesn't have adjustable nose pads. It has just the, the frame around it. So no adjustable nose pads. The hinges are decent, some sort of kind of screw on them. And these are Maui gyms that I'm wearing. And these are very, very old. I lost the nose pads on these sunglasses. All the bells and whistles of a good day-to-day -day wearing sunglasses. Keep in mind that with these Toro sunglasses, if it is sunny outside, the sun will pierce through the sides with these sunglasses. If you thought this video was helpful, share it. If you like this video, click the like button, click the notification bell to get notified when there's a new video. And also, subscribe and drink responsibly. This is a Georgian wine. What is your favorite sunglasses from Toro? If you purchased from them, lights off. One light is off and we're turning off another light and turning off key light in three, two, one, knock on these.